Christmas. It is our Lessons and Carols service, and you should have received a bulletin that looks like this. If not, she's making more. We ran out. Oh, we ran, we ran out. out. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. What a good problem to have. We can, uh, so boss number one or two, whatever she is, is... She's number one, trust me. She is number boss number one. Well, I don't know. Where's my other boss? There's got to She's here. No, he's back there. <laughs> I mean, I'm like boss number ten here. Please, I'm even under you. <laughs> So, um, <coughs> UCC members, um, Viola Keeney passed away on December 26th. Um, her services will be held here on Tuesday. Uh, visitation will be from 10.30 to 11 with services at 11. Um, so now that brings me back to bringing everybody in. Um, because Spring Grove is off that day, we have more kids in the ELC. Um, so we are going to have the funeral luncheon across the street at Lutheran. So my Lutheran brothers and sisters, if we could have maybe two or three of you help with the luncheon um, because you all know the nooks and crannies of that kitchen better than what we do. We would appreciate it if uh, we could have maybe two or three of you come at 10.30 and help us just get set up and, uh, and show us around, around the kitchen. That would be a great um, service to us. Um, Lutherans, you have a council meeting Tuesday night at 7. Yes. Um, and next Sunday is a combined service at 9.15 across the street for our Holy Communion service. After the service, Lutheran Church Council and UCC Consistory, we are having a combined um, planning meeting to plan out the year for us. Lunch will be provided. Um, so that will be after the service next week. Any other announcements? Well, sure. Oh. Now, y'all got a bullet. <laughs> Ignore the blue and the green writing since we're over here. And it's all out of the blue handle. But <clears throat> just follow the bulletin because some of the verses out of the blue handle, there's three verses, but she put four in because the Lutherans sing four. And I think it's so just follow your bulletin, and if I miss a verse, just keep singing. <laughs> yes, we decided not to reinvent the wheel. Um, so we thank the Lutherans for providing the bulletins this week. And here come more bulletins, I believe. Heather, do you have anything you want to say? Does anybody need a bulletin? <laughs> Other than that, I don't know too much. <laughs> it's safer to keep me on the down low there. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. And we wish every one of you a safe and healthy and happy new year. Um, don't party too hard tonight. Some of us have to work in the morning, so um, I will not be partying too hard. Yeah, well, I'd just like to point out that you know, on the last inside page of the bulletin, 9 p.m. is the new midnight. <laughs> At this point, well, I was going to say that we will have our, oh, he's back here. I'm so used to him being at the piano. We will now have our prelude done by Bob.
reading is taken from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless praise for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Here is the first reading. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.
from of old, from ancient days. Therefore ye shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And ye shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of, his, of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. The word of the Lord. Favored one, the Lord is with you. 
But she was much perplexed by his words and honored what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading is from Luke, the second chapter. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. The word of the Lord.
seventh reading is taken from Matthew, the second chapter. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The word of the Lord.
An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. It then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. life, 
and then life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone who is coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word came, became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth, the Word of the Lord.
With wonder and thanksgiving for Christ coming into the world, we pray for the church, the life of the earth, and the whole human family. The church in every land makes a joyful noise to herald your coming, O God. We give thanks for poets, musicians, and hymn writers who give voice to our praise and for all who lead the church's worship. God of grace, hear our prayer. This day dawns with new hope for all living things, and from ocean depths to mountain peaks, the earth rejoices. Inspire in us an urgent zeal to protect the planet and renew its resources. God of grace, hear our prayer. Bring heavenly peace to this world and an end to armed conflict, both at home and abroad. Raise up leaders in every nation who will honor human rights and establish equal justice for all people. Give courage to all who speak out against oppression and advocate for the powerless. God of grace, hear our prayer. Guard the lives of any in danger, especially those who work to protect others and those who are persecuted for their faith. Lead any who are in desperate circumstances to places of sanctuary, help, and safety. Grant rest to the weary and soothe those who are sick, especially those we name before you. God of grace, bless all who gather to worship on this holy day. Be present at our tables and celebrations and watch over those who travel. Sustain charities, outreach ministries, and food pantries that give generously to people in need. Especially we pray for the food and clothing ministries of St. Jacob's. God of grace, in Christ we have beheld your glory, full of grace and truth. We give thanks for those in every generation who reflect the light of Christ. May their witness shine forth in our time. God of grace, pondering the mystery of eternal love made flesh in Christ Jesus, we commend all for whom we pray to the mercy of God, in the name of the Christ child of Bethlehem. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one the things of heaven and earth, fill you with sweetness of inward peace and goodwill, and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and always. Alleluia. Go forth in peace and joy. Amen.
joy of Christ's birth. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.